Hey guys, how's it going? This is John Grand for Freshly Squeezed Samples, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create some strong and inspiring bass lines in X4 Record Serum, and I'm going to be using Ableton as my main DNW. So let's go ahead and open up Serum and uh, start getting into what we can do for creating a solid bass line. So one of the first things is let's go ahead and write in the MIDI before we get started, right? Right now I just have a basic kick pattern going on, so nothing too crazy. I'm gonna start with the bass pattern at around C3 and just kind of play around a little bit and see what we get. One thing I like to do is kind of play around with a lot of dotted eighth notes, which looks something like this. All right, and so that's our first bass. We're gonna call that just bass. Nothing too complicated. Let's go ahead and get started with our synth. And I'm gonna set this filter to 24 so that we can really play around with the sound a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this down two octaves. Now where all the fun is really gonna start happening is with envelope two. So we're gonna drag this over to the filter and this will give us a nice little cutoff sound. Bring the sustain down quite a bit. And that's gonna be sort of like our foundation bass. Let's go ahead and duplicate that now. And we're gonna do our bass two. And this bass is going to be a bit more wide and open. So let's go ahead and go into the EQ and let's actually take out some of the lows on this bass because we don't really need as much lows as we do on the first bass. So I'm going to cut this at around, let's say, 105 hertz. And with this bass, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing up some of the unison voices and bring it up to about seven. So we can kind of get like a wider sound. I'm going to bring in another oscillator and maybe have this one be at minus one octave instead of minus two. I'm going to bring this one to about five maybe. To bring the resonance up a little bit to kind of give it a bit more pluckiness. And then I'm going to add a third oscillator. It's going to be this one, and then I'm going to create it into a saw wave. Then the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of delay, nothing too crazy. I like going for ping pong delay and then cutting out a lot of the lows and then leaving some of the highs. I'm gonna turn this one into like a dotted eighth. And then this one's just gonna be a regular eighth. And then turn the feedback down quite a bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of what I like to call down sampling. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give the bass a nice little crunch on the top end. And that's just kind of letting our bass give a little bit more energy. Let's go ahead and do another layer. And with this bass, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change the pattern up a little bit so that it's not super similar. So maybe what we can do is move these MIDI notes over and see what that sounds like. And let's change the sound of this bass a little bit. So I'm going to make this one a little bit less wide i'm going to take off the distortion i'm going to take off the delay what i might do is add a little bit of small reverb to it and open this one up a little bit bring up the sustain a little bit take out more of the lows and then bring up some of the highs on this one Let's get that reverb nice and short. We just want like a reflection reverb. Something like that. We can add some chorus to it. Now let's listen to all three of them together. The next thing I'm gonna do is, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna call this bus bass. 
And then I'm gonna add a little bit of side chain with the LFO tool, just to make this video nice and quick. Smoothing out the LFO tool a little bit. Get rid of that click. And essentially what I've done here is I've done like a three layered base. I've done a base low. I've done a mid base and I've done a high base. And with this right here, you have a nice simple setup to get your bases going in a lot of different directions. And now if you needed to change the MIDI notes, let's say you're just doing this section for the intro, but then this section is gonna be something that's gonna be changing a little bit. We can start playing with the MIDI notes. And, and the nice thing about the new version of Ableton is that we can start changing things pretty quickly with all the notes. And then uh, we can have it sound something like this. And then just start playing around with the notes to taste where you feel comfortable with them. And there you have it. That's how to create a very simple three layered bass. Very simple way to kind of get your bases layered and standing out. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Again, it's not a super in detailed video, but I did want to show you how you can layer your bases with very simple sound design tricks in under five minutes. Hope you enjoyed this video.